name's Gemma. In another one of my videos, we talked about what makes an even number even and an odd number odd. Here's six. We know it's an even number because every dot has a partner. And here's five. We know it's an odd number because every dot does not have a partner. This one's all alone. Now let's explore what happens when we add odd and even numbers. Six is even. Four is even. When we put them together, it's an even number. Every dot has a partner. Let's try another one. Four is even. Eight is even. When we put them together, it's still even because every dot still has a partner. Let's try odds. Five is odd. Three is odd. We put them together and it's an even number. Every dot has a partner now. These two did not, but now they do. Let's try another one. Three is odd and seven is odd. We know now that it's an even number because every dot now has, an, has a partner. They did not, these two did not, but now they do. An even and an even makes an even number. An odd and an odd makes an even number. What do you think will happen when we add an even number and an odd number? Let's take a look. Five is an odd number. And six is an even number. When we put them together, we can see that it's going to be an odd number because every dot does not have a partner. This one is all alone. My challenge to you is imagine you want to add nine and seven. There are three answers on the screen, but only one is right. Which one is it? And give me two ways that you know. Thanks.